Hello everybody and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video. Today we will be driving the Extreme E Odyssey 21. They added like 10 different variants of this car in the game, something like 10, I think it's around that number. They're all the same exact car, except they all just have a different livery. They're meant for some crazy off-road stunts. They're electric, and they are all-wheel drive, and they are not fast at all. Obviously, if I revved it, you can't hear anything, and if I was to do a top speed test, I could tell you it's 132 miles an hour, because this car is not very fast yet. But this car is good off-road, so we will go and test that right now. Some stats about this car. It has 536 horsepower, 749 foot-pounds of torque. It weighs almost 4,000 pounds, which is quite a bit, but the off-road is 10. So that means, yeah, it's as best as it could be off-road. And I have driven this to do some seasonal challenges, and it has insane suspension. It can go over any bumps or any jumps, and it'll be fine. But you are about to see. Let's see how the Odyssey 21 does in a race. Uh, as you will see throughout this race, all the other uh, Extreme E cars just with different liveries. The ones that were available to unlock this week didn't have that good of liveries. There's some pretty cool looking ones, but I've also seen uh, some people make some really cool designs for these. So you can make them look however you want. But like I said about the jumps, it just takes it. Like some cars in this game, if you go over a jump, it'll just like slow down so much. This, no. It will not, and it just takes it, and it's like so smooth. It's crazy. This car isn't exactly fast, but it's not meant for top speed. It's meant to go what is considered fast off-road, which is over 100 miles an hour. It's quite fast off-road, I would say. There's a big jump, and let's see how the car handles it. I mean, yes, we did slow down quite a bit, but uh, it's got pretty good suspension. Take my word for it. Like I said, this car does not have a very good top speed at like 130 or something. But uh, the acceleration, it's okay. For a vehicle of this weight, it's alright. It's like 4,000 pounds, this vehicle. But it's like a 4.8 uh, second 0 to 60. Which isn't terrible, but we'll upgrade this car and make that better as well. Now, I know some people might not be a fan of these, but I think these look actually pretty cool. We didn't get first place, but it was very close. You get the idea. This car is alright stock. Before we upgrade this thing, let's see what kind of painting we can do to this thing. Maybe just to make it look a bit better. So here's paint group number one. And paint group number two is... Oh, that's cool. All the little lines and stuff going through. Uh, it's very subtle, but it is noticeable. So let's just make that red. Why not? And I'll make paint group one black. Or... <gasps> oh, I forgot to show you guys about the Hot Wheels Spectre Flame colors. Oh. Okay, we're doing this now. So if you can see, there's almost like little flakes in the color, and it just makes it look so cool and different from the other colors. I just I lo love the look of it. It's such a good addition, like some more paint colors. Oh, and some of these colors look so good. Also, what would this car look like in carbon? Oh, that is nice. Uh, I really want to go carbon, but I think we'll go with a Spectre Flame color. Sorry, Spectra Flame. I thought it was Spectre Flame. My bad. Uh, what color should we go for? Why do I kind of like the pink? I actually just like every color that they have here. Like, every, there's not a color that looks bad, except that brown. That looks kind of gross. Um, we'll go with, uh, the blue. We'll go with this blue. A little bit darker. And then I'm gonna change the secondary color. And then the rims, we're gonna paint black. All right, let's see what upgrades we can do with it. That is a icon I have not seen a while. Motor and battery, so you can upgrade. Interesting, okay. So we currently have 536 horsepower. Then there's three upgrades. 135, 269, and 403. Those are good increments. You could get like like an a, a good A class one, a good S1 class, and maybe, I don't know if you can get this car to S2, but we'll go with that, because we're gonna get the maximum performance out of this car. Okay, you cannot change the tire compounds. It's on off-road race tires only. So we're gonna make the tires as wide as possible, and we're not gonna change the rims. And platform and handling. Oh yes, okay, good, there's weight reduction. So there's brakes, which this car kinda needs, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we'll get some anti-roll bars, why not? Alright, how much weight can we remove out of this car? It's not going to be much, is it? Oh, okay, that's actually a good amount. Okay, 
we're going with that. And with all the upgrades done, we have a launch of 10, which is gonna be quite a bit better than uh, what we previously had. We have a 3.6 second zero to 60 now and a top speed of 130.9, wow. Now we weigh 400 pounds less, have quite a bit more horsepower, and we're S1 class. Let's see how this car does. The Spectra Flame color looks so cool in the sun. You can like see all the individual flakes of color. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I just tuned the car, so now it has a top speed of 180, because it was maxing out at like 130, even though it had a lot more in it. So now this car can go quite a bit faster. Let's see how the upgraded Extreme E car does in a race. The launch is gonna be, oh my god. The launch is actually so good now, compared to these other cars. Wow, we're flying by them, Jesus. Yeah, this car has uh, some power, let's just say that. Jesus, the top speed on this car makes it so much faster around these cross-country races. Wow, this car is, it's scary, but it's actually so much fun. Oh my, I haven't done this race before. Oh, this is a cool race. That was a big jump even for that suspension on this car. I know no one really like, if, I didn't even know that these cars existed before they were added to Forza. I don't know if anyone really wanted these in the game, but I'm kind of glad that they are. I think they're pretty cool. The only weird thing about when they added this to the game is that there's like 10 different variants, all just the same car with different liveries, like I said earlier. Why didn't they just add one car with all the different livery options as like a painting option? That sounds like a better option, but to be honest, I'm kind of glad that they made it so easy to unlock these things. Like, they're just going to throw a ton of them at you this whole series, so you can unlock like five or six of them so easy if you don't want them i guess you could just sell them but i think that these cars are pretty cool across the line that time i got first now the car's good that's why i got first well thank you guys so much for watching the video subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be notified when i post more videos i will be posting more videos on the hot wheels cars very soon but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye